Hi, it's Kathy with Rocks, Fossils, and Minerals Oh My. And I have to redo this video because I got things on the end that I didn't want to put in the video and I'm not too good at editing them yet. So, I just wanted to give you my origin story, if you will. When I was nine years old, I lived in Texas, started finding fossils. And the ones I would find mostly were these clams, clams, clams. And I would find them in front of businesses where they have all the gravel around the businesses and the shiny crystal rocks. And some of these would be in between and I would find them and I was quite intrigued. So I continued. And then I found this big boy. It's very heavy. And I couldn't figure out what it was. And as a nine-year-old, and by the way, when I was nine, there wasn't the internet. <laughs> there wasn't Google. So anything I had to learn was from encyclopedia or the dictionary. And had no clue what to even call this to look it up. So I had no idea. This one intrigued me. And as a nine-year-old, you think, oh, it could be flipper prints. Well, no, it's actually part of an ammonite. I found that out when I, uh, here's a pretty example that I bought. And you can see the end of it. It's kind of the same thing. It's lighter colored. I'm sure it's a different species. And of course, it petrified in a different way with different minerals to give it the beauty that it has but most of mine were sandstone <laughs> but when I was 21 I was walking by a bookstore in California and I saw this huge piece that looked like that except a complete piece and ran into that bookstore to find out what it was and I found out it's ammonite and I was really happy finally to solve this mystery after way too many years and so that got my interest. I loved dinosaurs as a kid and then found these. Then I was about 15 and I was kicking around rocks, same area, still in Texas, kicking around rocks. I found this. And I was like, oh my God, it's a dinosaur tooth because that looks quite like a molar, doesn't it? And then the little stripes on it. And then you can think, well, maybe this is the other end of the tooth, the canine or something. Well, I don't know what you call them. With the other fangy part of your tooth so either way it could be a tooth and i was so intrigued and only a couple years ago i found out what it was some very knowledgeable kind people gave me their opinion and it makes sense it's a horn of coral this is a modern horn of coral and it's got the same little stripes on it but that's what i have a horn of coral And here's a prettier little ammonite and the way it's formed the colors I don't know the process maybe someone could comment down below don't know the process but I know it's pretty and they use this outer color and it's been officially named a gemstone ammo light from a different find in, in uh, different areas and they can call it amylite now it's considered a gemstone but then I moved to California like I said and we would go to the Mojave Desert and I would find things like this I have some green in it and purple and I thought it was pretty and out in the sunlight you can see it a little better there's some green and purple and another piece like it there's all that green and then some purple on the back side and I just thought it was kind of pretty didn't have a water bottle to squirt it with or anything like that but it was just real pretty and it even has some lines in it where you can see the purple runs through And you're saying, no big deal. Well, a piece of that one broke off. And I tumbled it, and this is what I got. <laughs> I 
I thought, no way that that came out of that rock, that ugly gray rock. And this is what I got. Well, I didn't know what it was, and because I didn't know what it was, the only other rocks I'd seen looked similar, as in, you know, the little swirls in it was malachite. So I thought, maybe it's malachite. See the swirls? But alas, it was not. I actually went on some group sites and asked, and I was told that it's probably verisite. So I'm happy with that. But then became my love of before and after. Before and after. Then I wanted to know where gemstones came from. Actually, not where they came from, but what did that stone look like before they faceted it? And so that's why if you've seen my other videos, I do have gemstones and then the actual specimens. I found this one. I was about 10 years old, same age. We went down to a lake that was being drained and my mom wanted to see what was on the bottom of the lake. Well, I never got to the lake because on the trail to the lake, I saw this on a huge piece of rock and it was stuck to it. <laughs> I said, oh, mom, can we take it? And she said, nope, if you can get it off, you can have it. Otherwise, no. So instead of going down to the lake, <laughs> I sat there and pulled this off. So that's how I got that one. And then some people that my mom and dad had met really had a love for rocks also. And they gave me this. I don't know where it was found, but when we met these people, it was in Florida. And they uh, gave me this. It's a sea urchin fossil and as far as they said you call them butt rocks <laughs> which I thought was funny but so that's a fossilized ammonite or excuse me ammonite <laughs> sea urchin anyway then living in Florida you don't find fossils not very often and where I live in Florida you don't even really find shark's teeth unless they wash up on the beach and they're really small and then I found this it was like this on the ground. I thought, how weird. And I picked it up and boom, found my first fossil after 40 some odd years. I was really happy about that. So there's just a little piece of my fossils and my quote unquote love of fox, fossils and rocks and minerals. My origin when my addiction began. <laughs> Here it is. But most of these, in fact, all of these. I've bought, have not found them on my own, but I've bought them because there are no fossils in Florida, very few and far between that I can find. So, hope you enjoyed. If you have any comments or anything to add about what kind of ammonites these are, because I know there's a few different species, I don't know that myself, but if you have any comments or anything to add, I'd appreciate it because I always love to learn. And that's it for today. Thank you.